Hi everyone, Sheila Butler with Successful Women Talk. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today and on the show today. I am really excited. I have guest Sarah Hill. Now Sarah is a 12-time Emmy award-winning journalist and she's using her skills to tell stories about our nation's veterans. Really really interesting show that she has. She's a digital storyteller and she uses Google Hangouts to, ho to host her show, Veterans United. And she was actually the first journalist to really use Google Plus Hangouts on TV. She is an advocate of what she calls human media and I cannot wait to share her story with you and to learn a little more about Sarah. So welcome. Thank you. It's so great to see you um, in person. Admire what you are doing in order to empower um, more women um, to become entrepreneurs. Thank you, Sarah. I really appreciate it. Right before we jumped on the call, we were talking about that as, you know, if we can, you know, change the life of one woman, just influence one person, we've done a great job. So I love your story and your story inspires me. So let, uh, let why don't you tell our, our listeners a little bit more about you, you know, your background and how you got started and, and you know, how that got you to where you are today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a mother of two, three, if you count my husband, he's my big baby. <laughs> I have an 18 year old and a 15 year old and I am a journalist by, by training, graduated from the University of Missouri School of Journalism. Um, did a whole bunch of stories around the world. We covered the aftermath of the tsunami, um, Vietnam, Guatemala, and um, settled here at, at the Veterans United Network um, because I was offered a great position to be able to tell stories about veterans and military families. But to make an incredibly long story short, I got into human media um, as a broadcaster. I worked for many years and I still freelance um, for KOMU TV, the NBC affiliate in Columbia, Missouri, and opened up um, a laptop behind the scenes of a local newscast um, and allowed individuals to come in and watch that newscast live, contribute to the conversation. And what happened um, during that process um, ignited a little bit of a spark um, in my soul um, with the ability to connect with people face to face on social media. Um, right now we are connecting with individuals via text-based social media, uh, but the future is connecting with them face to face via webcam and that is the root of human media. I love that and I totally agree. And I want to talk a little bit about your TED Talk in just a minute. But, I, you know, I, a lot of people think social media is going to save their business. And I see social media as a tool. But I agree with you. You cannot replace face-to-face -face communication. In person is always best, but you want to take, you want to take like podcasting to another level. You add that face-to-face -face interaction. And it just really changes the entire dynamic, I think, of the conversation. Yeah, I, you, I can see your body language. I can see the light over your left shoulder, Sheila, and ask you questions about that light. I can see the diplomas and the pictures that you have hanging on your wall and, and ask you questions about that. It's a far level, deeper level of engagement and understanding when you are seeing someone as opposed to just chatting with their profile on, on a text-based social network. So if we can use that power of the human connection, um, not just for business, but for charities, um, but for individuals who aren't able to leave their homes and perhaps you can provide them a window to the world. Um, all of these are different ways that individuals right now are using human media and some of the women who are, are watching your broadcast right now would have the potential to use human media in the future, maybe as um, a future business model. I love that. Well, let me ask you this. So, you know, a lot of times it's easier to stick with the status quo, right? So you have broadcasting and everything's just sort of going along well, no issues. And then there's this, little, this new technology. You have something like Google Hangouts. What made you go, okay, I'm going to try something different? Because it's hard to jump out and do something different. It's easier to stay in the status quo. What made you switch over? Mm -hmm. um, what made me switch over was the unique pairing of a broadcast platform, which is what Google Plus is. It is connected to YouTube, um, which makes it a broadcast platform. Um, anyone has the ability to live stream their content, but not everyone has the ability to crowdsource an audience on that same place where that broadcast is happening. Because Google Plus um, is connected to YouTube and more importantly connected to Google Search, it allows you to search for an audience, uh, to search for individuals who are interested in veterans and military content. So search search for individuals who are interested in, in um, helping women become entrepreneurs. And you can crowdsource an audience. And not only that, but you have the ability to disseminate that broadcast within that social network. It's the unique pairing of the very first broadcast platform attached 
to a social network of um, Google Plus. So that's why I had recognized it is is not just broadcasting off the big metal stick, but the ability for a professional broadcaster to reach out to all the other broadcast sticks out there in homes and living rooms across the nation and bring them into the the conversation. Um, I think as professional broadcasters, we've gotten used to just hearing ourselves talk a whole lot and not um, allowing other individuals into that conversation. So that's what Google Plus Hangouts does, essentially. It allows you to have have a 10-person group video chat um, that it not only airs live and streams live on YouTube, um, but it also streams within in Google+. Plus. So what got me um, in using this, I would say, because it was the unique pairing of a crowdsourcing tool with a broadcast platform. Now, are you seeing more and more broadcasters like yourself jumping into this medium? Yes, and we are trying to mentor them um, as much as uh, much as we can. Um, uh, affiliates from Reno, um, uh, My Fox in LA, uh, Maria Quaban, uh, Melissa Carlson, Michelle Lee, um, Amy Wood. All of these are interactive broadcasters who are using this new space of human media, so that when they're doing their broadcast, they also have a visual back channel where they are communicating with their viewers face to face. They also are using the space, um, we use it for, for breaking news. So for instance, um, in the aftermath of some riots in Canada, instead of people live tweeting from that event and, and sending asynchronous, not real time uh, still pictures, um, we had an individual who was live hanging from the event. So he opened up a live hangout during the riots in Canada and was allow, uh, able to allow um, other Canadians into that hangout and ask questions about what they were seeing in real time. So it essentially not only brings more individuals in that conversation, but it allows you to add a whole nother human layer to live tweeting or live blogging um, so that it's not text-based asynchronous um, or he said and then wait for it, wait for somebody to respond. And then she said, <laughs> you're having these interactions in real time. I love that. You know, and it is timing is important. So in this fast paced world that we live in, timing is everything. It's really important. And like you said, having that instant access to that is really key. Yeah, and how about be able to use this um, tool for customer service as well? Exactly. Um, you know, the ability to get somebody on the line right now, and we're talking with them uh, via via phone. Many pe people have uh, customer service call centers. But how might the business customer relationship be completely changed if you could see your customer, if you could transport your customer and put them right, you know, in front of you in your desk? You can see them blink. You can see them breathe. Um, you know, there are studies out there that shows that that eye contact quells hostilities online. <laughs> so imagine this as, as, as a tool um, for businesses, not only to find their customers, but to bring them into a closer relationship with them. And we here at the Veteran Genetic Network, that's what our primary goal, we want to bring individuals into a closer relationship with us. I totally agree. You know, a lot of times just getting, getting a customer on the phone and listening can really diffuse the situation, but putting that face to face is huge. I'm working with a client right now, and they have a they have a, a broad network across the United States and, and of of employees. And they were like, "Well, we have to, you know, we do phone meetings and we do this." And I said, "You should be using something like Google Hangouts because then you're there, you see each other. It makes a huge difference because their team is complaining about not feeling connected enough." I think that changes the dynamics of the entire group. So I think it could be used in businesses so easily. Yeah, and, and virtual storefronts is, is something that I'm geeked out about for businesses. You know, an online business, a rub with an online business is the fact that um, you don't have a face-to-face -face physical connection. And a lot of online businesses lose out business to bricks and mortar businesses that do have that face-to-face -face connection. But with this platform, you have the ability to add a physical virtual storefront and allow people to come in to your online site face-to-face -face and interact with you. So I really think in the future, you know, an open hangout um, is essentially going to be an open physical door to allow people from around the world to come in and do business um, with you. 
I agree. Well, let me ask you this. So sometimes women, uh, and I'm not just going to pick on women, but I, I was at a conference this weekend, and I'll just tell you that we took a poll, and women are a little bit tech challenged, right? So, you know, I hear some people go, well, it's too hard to get started. So let's talk about that a little bit, because I don't think it really is. I think sometimes that's a barrier, and it's an excuse for us to say, I don't want to try something new. But as far as the technology involved and the learning curve involved, can you touch on that just a little Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like learning how to dial the video phone. That is all it is. You met, right? remember the first time that you had to learn how to dial a cell phone, right? Or to dial a landline. You had to pick up the line. You had to listen for the dial tone. You had to type in the numbers. You had to wait for the ring. You had to wait for the other individuals to answer. These are all steps that it used to, to dial a, a landline phone. Well, what we're doing, ladies, right here is just learning how to dial a video phone. And it's so easy. It, it takes you a step-by-step -step process. If you ever get hung up, um, there's a great resource called Google Search. And you just search in there um, how to open a Hangout, and it shows you. Um, but it's really easy within the platform. All you do is click the Start Hangout button. And then invite whoever you want to invite. You can make it private, just your 10 people in the group, or you can make it public that anyone has the ability to watch. Um, but, you know, I do not have a tech background um, at all. I've learned incredibly a lot um, over the last couple of years um, being on the Google Plus platform because it, there are a lot of uh, great tech minds in there who've mentored me. But I didn't know what a permalink was. Um, you know, I didn't know how to clear my cookies or cash or, you know, I mean, anything like that. I do not have a tech background, but yet I learned. And, and all it is is learning how to dial the video phone. You know, when you think about that, um, that's really all that you that you need to know. And all of these um, interfaces are very user friendly that should you have any problem, all you have to do is reach out to another follower on um, Google Plus or perhaps on your other social network and they would glad you guide you gladly gl guide you through that process. Yeah, you know, it's funny, Sarah, because this weekend, like I said, I was at a conference and we were talking about how important it is. Like I'll say working from home, I before I before I started working at home, I, I owned a business, sold that in 2010. Now I work from home and I love it for many reasons, but I also curse it for many reasons. And the biggest is isolation. So the networking part of it. So I think that that could be huge with women's groups. We, I use, which, which is a little embarrassing, I use Google Plus Hangouts for my mastermind group, but I don't use it for my show. And as we talked about, I'm really considering changing that because it's easy. Even on my smartphone, there's a Google Plus app and quickly you can go right to Hangouts and it's so simple. Yeah, it's um, essentially a television station in your pocket. Yeah. I mean, that's really what it is. Um, you don't have the ability to um, join a uh, Hangout on Air or initiate a, a Hangout on Air on air, a streaming hangout from your mobile device, but you can join off air ones um, all the time. And absolutely, it's it's a great resource. It's a mobile resource um, that I'm excited to see how women use it in the future. I agree. Is there, how, um, if you had to give someone maybe that was thinking about starting a business or thinking about going into broadcasting or, you know, just unsure about themselves, you know, you seem like a very confident woman. What advice would you give someone that's just not sure where to start in business? Mm -hmm. um, I would say start by just diving in. Um, I think we as women sometimes have a tendency to stick our toe in the water and, and see if anybody invites us um, or, you know, welcomes us in into open arms into any new area of business. And really what you just have to do is, is you just have to dive in and say, reach out to other individuals um, in your social network and say, will you help me on this new journey? Um, this provides a, a great new tool for broadcasters. No longer do you need a big metal stick um, with call letters with a you know big fancy uh, uh, TV studio or set or anything. Anyone in the world has the ability to broadcast now. There are free tools that allow you uh, to do free editing. Um, it doesn't cost a dime. I'm um, interesting to to see how this these new digital tools will change the broadcast landscape. So for any woman out there, um, I would say dive right in. The water is warm. Um, there's a great future with connecting people face to face and you can't go wrong when you are developing closer relationships with people. I totally agree. And just like you said, just like self-publishing is changing the pub publishing industry, I think something like Google Plus Hangouts is really going to change broadcasting, just as you said. We're we're in a, in a flux of change. It will be interesting to see what comes of all of that. 
Yeah, it will. And I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be along for the ride and it'll be <laughs> great to see you um, do some more um, via that platform as well. Some great information on, on the shows that you provide. Thank you so much. Let me ask you this. So from, pro- from a productivity perspective or from a tools perspective, is there, do you have any special things that you do to get your show? Um, I know sometimes it's you and then sometimes you have a panel. So as far as getting that produced, is it any harder than what you normally have to do? I mean, how do you kind of structure that whole process? Well, it depends on how many guests you have. So usually um, I'll have one guest, um, but then invite other individuals to join in that conversation, uh, a public approved circles to join in that conversation and ask questions. So what you would have to do with a Hangout would be what you would have to do with Skype. Um, You would just essentially have to test those connections. Um, And you would have to send them a link to that conversation to join uh, prior to the broadcast. Then once you have that Hangout open, you have a broadcast button. And when you're ready to go, you click Start Broadcast. Um, and then it starts streaming live on YouTube. Uh, you do your show, and then after you end the show, you click the end broadcast button, and that video automatically stops streaming and then starts processing to automatically record to your YouTube channel. Then you can go back into your YouTube channel. You can either download um, that file and edit it up on your own editing software, or you can use the free digital tools within YouTube um, to edit, to add captions, to add lower third graphics. Um, there are all kinds of apps um, with Hangouts on air, uh, with Hangouts that allow you to use lower thirds, um, at, which essentially is a virtual calling card or virtual business card. When people go from Hangout to Hangout to Hangout, they have their name displayed along with um, Veterans United Network or their title underneath it. Um, so all of these are, are free apps um, within the Hangout that can really get you and your message out uh, to a lot of people. And for first-time individuals on the platform, I would encourage them um, not just to host Hangouts, but to join them uh, great first, point. because that uh, really allows you to meet other individuals face to face in this space um, and, and learn learn about it a little bit more um, before you start hosting them. Anyone can host them. All you need is a webcam and an internet connection, um, and anyone has the ability to be a broadcaster, which is just really neat. That is terrific. Hey, Sarah, if someone wanted to connect with you, where would you want to send them? Mm-hmm. I would say uh, connect with me on Google+. Plus. If you go to google.com slash plus Sarah Hill, all one word, um, you can reach out to me there. Um, you can also reach me via email, and my email address is Sarah with an H, Sarah.Hill at VeteransUnited.com. Terrific. And Sarah, I will link all of this up in the show notes. I love what you're doing. Oh, you don't have to. Let me just mention this real quickly. And I'm also going to link this up in the show notes. Let's talk real quickly about your TED Talk. Yeah. Um, basically, um, we shared about the human media movement and the ability for individuals to connect face to face in real time. Uh, that broadcast tower that's embedded in a social layer of a, a crowdsourcing tool. Uh, we'll see a lot of businesses using human media in the future, charities using he- human media, and we are using human media for a volunteer endeavor called Veterans Virtual Tours, uh, where we are providing veterans a virtual tour of their memorials. Unfortunately, we are losing our World War II veterans at a rate of 800 a day nationwide. A lot of these guys are too um, terminally ill in order to physically travel to see their memorial. But human media allows you to open up a hangout, and then we have videographers with um, streaming rigs in Pearl Harbor, uh, the World War II Memorial, Arlington National Cemetery. And in our partnership with Virtual Photo Walks, um, we are able to take these veterans to see those memorials that they might not otherwise get to see. Um, So So that's human media. Uh, That was the premise of our our TED Talk. And if you're interested in more information about human media, I would just encourage you to Google it um, along with um, my name. And we'll talk about other ways that businesses can use social media via webcam, human media, in order to develop closer relationships with their followers, with their customers, and their future customers. I love that. And and if you haven't seen our TED Talk, I will link it up. It's really good. I I just, you have a great presence. I, like I said earlier, I love talking with smart women. And Sarah, I certainly appreciate your time today. It's been truly my pleasure. Best of luck to you and to all those women out there. Just jump in. I Don't love wait. it. You heard it. Just jump in, ladies. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah.